Hello, hello, hello everyone, NecroVMX here, and welcome to more uh, Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past. We're uh, defeating all the worms of woe here in Nonagen. <laughs> yeah, they're very susceptible to the Dream Blade. Alright, oh, and uh, Maribel's understudy. Alright. That got rough. Oh, yeah, baby. Wow, it actually attacked. <laughs> there we go. Oh, 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 that was, I thought I accidentally pressed the wrong. But yeah, they're saying check on Buddy. Uh, I think it's all of them, then, then, if he's saying that. Stop, Maribel! I'm oh my god, I just want to move the camera! Yeah, it's all of them. Alright, let's go check on him. Nah, crap! <laughs> Talk to him real quick. Who do you want, little friend? Oh, Oster, I think I may be in a bit of a sticky spot here. Yeah, I got it. This is the last one, I believe. And he's out. There we go, we got him. <laughs> that was a little too close for comfort. By the way, do you have any idea what that thing was? What? You think Wiggles somehow told his monster friends to come here? What nonsense! Wiggles is an adorable, big-hearted, loving creature. He has absolutely nothing to do with these vile things. I absolutely refuse to believe he would associate with such ruffians. Here comes more. I think we might be in trouble here. Come on, let's get out of town. Um, Oster, I think we should make a run for it. Yeah, you're not supposed to fight them. You're supposed to just run. So what are we going to do? We're surrounded. Here comes Wiggles. Wiggles, what are you doing here? The town's in danger. Get out of here. You can't afford to get yourself killed. <laughs> Wiggles, look out! Uh, 
Riggle's kicking ass right now. That's that. Who's next? You want some? Come on. You want some of this? Wiggles, you, you saved us. Thank you, Wiggles. I don't know you had it in you. Wiggles, what's the matter? He's all fucked up. What do you think? Wiggles, no! Thanks to Wiggles' heroic intervention, Nanajin is saved from the worms of woe. The townspeople are overjoyed and realize they were mistaken about Wiggles. Which just makes me wonder why if you fight and kill Wiggles does that fix the present? And then morning comes all over your face and chest. <sighs> so everything worked out for the best, I suppose. No one was killed. You came through for the people of Nanajin once again. And so did Wiggles. You know, that's twice I've been saved by a monster now. First Rocky, and now Wiggles. I can't help wondering if there was something I could have done to save them both. If only there was somewhere safe I could have set them. Somewhere people couldn't hurt them. Monster Meadows? No. I promised myself I wouldn't start blubbering. It, it, it's just so hard. Alright. Now can I buy weapons here? Or am I still locked out of that? I don't understand it, but... Hey, about fucking time. Let's get that Icicle Dirk for rough. That's the only weapon I'm gonna get, but yeah. He's gonna lose that extra flame attack, but... But you could use the Icicle Dirk as an item to cast, like, Crackle or something, you know? Alright, we're done here. I can't zoom anywhere yet. We gotta... Hold on a second, I need to... Oh my god. I'm just reading stuff on the Discord. Alright, here we go. Nope. And recruited. Damn. Alright, a Barbarian, some natural born quillers, two of them, and two heal slimes. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you know what? You're gonna do that. We'll do boom. Dead. Dancer's a fantastic class, by the way. I mean, it's more what it leads to, but it's pretty good. Alright, we got two Borbarians. Alright. Oh, Maribel's an opening act and learned weird dance. Alright, two heal slimes. All right, 
over to Natajan, which should be an actual town now. Yeah. Welcome to Natajan. I can't imagine what you're doing here. The only sight we're seeing is the grave of our greatest hero. Otherwise, it's pretty boring. I guess it's an okay place to live, though. The old bloke is an old ace called Money. Ace an old one. Thanks to Campbell about monsters and people. I used to live here in town, but then I decided there weren't enough monsters his taste, so I moved away. If you're looking for the grave of the town's greatest hero, you'll find it by the big mansion. I've always wondered why it's there instead of in the graveyard behind the church or whatever, but truth's probably much more boring than I want it to be. It is said that the town of Nonagen survived three great tragedies. First, it was Sulk the Dragon, who veiled the town in darkness. Then there was the mighty Malign Vine and its insidious roots. Finally, there was a full-scale assert assault from the Worms of Woe. Apparently, a mighty hero by the name of Wiggles saved the town from all three calamities. All three Wiggles did. Sadly, his, the wounds he sustained fighting off the Worms of Woe proved fatal, and he fell at the leap. last. His is a truly tragic tale. Ar 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 all right, let's start looking around in the town. In the in the towns? No, in the in the places. There's a weird old man named Monty who lives a little way out of town. He loves monsters and shuns the company of his fellow man. The shunning I can get behind, but monsters? Ugh. Nothing. Nothing. Smashy, smashy. Let's check out the upstairs. I've been studying the legend of Wiggles, and apparently he had four sidekicks. Now, what were they called again? Uh, that's right, one of them was called Oster. And as for the other three, I can't seem to recall their names right now. Nothing. Fishnet stockings. Ooh la la. Alright, looks like that's everything here. Check out the end. I need to stay here, but I want to look around. Got us a uh, Wayfarer's clothes. Nothing there. Oh, we have visitors. I suppose you're here to see the grave of our hero Wiggles. Sometimes I wonder what he was like. I picture someone tall, dark, and devastatingly handsome. He was a worm. Why? Well, because he's a hero, of course. Who'd ever heard of an ugly hero? Or a worm hero, for that matter. Who ever heard of a dude named Wiggles? I'm gonna go in the back first. Let's see. Who wouldn't? Four dollars. And a crappy ass copper sword. Oop. Apparently, this town went through some really tough times back in the old days. Well, if you want to know about tough, try selling weapons in a town where no one needs them. Ugh, such a drag. Anything interesting here? Tempest Mask. Oh, I don't have money for it? How much is it? It's 11,000, and I have just shy of that. Let me sell the silver now. That did it. Tempest Shield, not Tempest Mask. And I believe that could cast, like, Whoosh or something. Whoosh or Swoosh or something. Oop. Nothing. And nothing. Welcome to the greatest shop in the whole wide world. Hope you buy lots of things and spend lots of money. I suppose I should check the weapon shop since the armor shop did have something that wasn't there in the past. Nothing interesting, though. Come on, get in there. Smashy, smashy. 
I wouldn't listen to a word my dad says if I were you. He likes to talk big, but his stories tend to be a little far-fetched. I mean, Wiggles is meant to have died young, right? I thought he had time to start a family. Not that my dad ever listens to reason. He never listens to anyone but himself. I'm guessing y'all know about it already, right? Uh, let's say no. What? You mean you don't know the tale of the hero Wiggles is buried here? Well, it turns out he was my great-great-great-grandfather. Yeah, he was a worm, dude. Yeah, I can't deny it. I have hero's blood flowing in my veins. I can see you're suitably impressed. You're an asshole. So he thinks he's Wiggles' great-great-great-grandson, does he? Ugh. I'm trying to imagine what he'd look like if he was a half-worm, half-man. Yuck. Anyway, one thing's for sure. He wouldn't look anything like that, big fat liar. Alright, leather dress. Let's see if there's anything in the church. I doubt it, but I'll check. Nah, there's nothing going on here. Alright. So this is where the legendary Wiggles is buried. It's not the most heroic of names, is it? I don't mean to be rude about such a great man, but I do wonder what his parents were thinking. Oh dear. He was a very wiggly baby. We're rushed off on our feet. The lady of the house likes to work her staff hard, you see. Oh, but don't tell her I said that, will you? I'm totally telling her. No, not really. Smashy, smashy. Oh, hello there. It's a nice place, right? The lady of the house is the estranged wife of a really rich man, which is why it's so posh. Apparently, they had a huge falling out about something or other, and now they live apart. To be honest, we're never act she's we've never actually seen her husband. It could be all lies for all I know. We're rushed off our feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's the same thing the other one said. Smashy, smashy. Nope. All I ever hear is my mates clattering, chattering downstairs. If only they could keep their mouths shut and actually do some work for a change. I recently read about some fascinating research being carried out in a far-off kingdom. They're trying to come up with mechanical maids. Well, I, for one, would happily purchase a couple. A silk tuxedo. I don't think that's good for defense. It's just good for, uh, style, really. Yeah, it's crappy for defense. Really high on the style, though. Oh, a lexicon. You don't see them too often, but here we are. Or hexicon, rather. Not lexicon. Nah. Uh -huh. Oh, it has an ice attack afterwards. Okay. Cool. So, we replace the extra fire attack with an extra ice attack. Alright, Oster is now a crystal knight and learns oomph and kazing. And recruited. Is that it for Oster? No. All right. All right, so let's check down the well and... Oh, damn it. All the way down. My mummy hates Monty, but I think he's amazing. When I grow up, I want to be friends with lots of monsters, too. I'm gonna be a Pokemon trainer. Nothing. Still nothing. Hey, you can't just go barging at people's homes uninvited. What's that? You're asking me why I live here? Well, why shouldn't I? Uh, it's kind of the same thing as the other guy. Yeah. Uh, no neighbors to bother you. Don't really get much sun. Uh, rising damp. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, well cut off. All right, we're actually going to head for um, Tower of Salk next. Or Pillar of Salk, whatever the hell it's called. Let's do it. All right, a Jade Dragon and a Fryling.
that he got. Hmm, a mini medal. You can see that from the lower screen there is a fragment somewhere around here. Sweet. Wait, hold on. Yep. I'm on the monster heart, a lips heart. All right, we got an oligarchical, an oligarchical Terex and a Jade Dragon. Ooh, I didn't get the ice attack. Oh, probably because he's immune. Or maybe it's not guaranteed for the Icicle Dirk. All right, Sir Mervyn is now an animal assailer and learned Kabuff and Sweet Breath. All right, two Frylings. All right, we got a Splatterhorn and two Frylings. Chargoyles and a Jade Dragon. I think I should go the other way first, because that's the way it happened in the past. Ow. Have to heal up after this one. Got him. Yeah, I think, yeah, because I went the other way first last time in the past, so I might as well do that. Oh! That is not what I meant to do. Alright, I can't see, but alright. I got me a scissor and a jade dragon. Dodgy dance. All right, what, what, what's it called? Backup dancer. All right, so I guess I have to go this way. Yeah. All right, a jade dragon and two chargoyles. Yeah, it said he wasn't affected. He, yeah, so it is hitting. It's just not affecting him because he's immune to ice. Saw that. Still a better weapon, though. All right, and I'll, uh, two oligarchical Terexes and a Jade Dragon. Should probably go up to the Jade Dragon first. It's definitely more dangerous. Like shake, 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 shake your booty. All right, well, Ruff and Sir Mervyn go. Everybody's confused now. That's fantastic. I only have to hope they attack the enemy and hit. Good job, good job, Maribel. Jesus. Ah, she hit herself. Damn it, don't do that. Oh god. 
Well, she's dead. It didn't even do enough damage, but somehow killed her anyway. Alright, we're gonna have to run. Uh, hopefully somebody has Zing. I think Sir Mervyn might have Zing. Well, you have Zing, actually, so... Oh, you have Kazing! What'd I do? Uh. Don't use Zing if you have Kazing. Alright, now we go this way. Yeah, 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 that's how we do it. I just remembered wrong. Okay. Four dollars! All right, three Borbarians. Big bitches. Oh, it has an instant kill chance. That's what it is. As I saw it hit Maribel for a certain amount of damage, but then she just died. Oh, actually, hold on. Uh, you have safe passage. Wait, this way first, I think. Sweet. Now oh, we got ourselves a mysterious fragment. Let's see if it'll let me evac out. Yep, okay. Then we can actually head to Monster Meadows. We've been sending monsters there. Now we have access to it. Hello there! If you're trying to travel from closure to enclosure, then you've come to the right place. Simply tell me where you'd like to go, and I'll whisk you there in an instant. So, which enclosure would you like to visit today? Uh, no. I'm not going to be fucking with this all that much. I'm just showing you that it is here. Busy, busy, busy. His name is Dog's Body. Aha, ha, ha. I visit my favorite bean befriending friends. Thank you for all the hard work thus far. This one slight snag, though. We don't yet have anywhere for the monsters you've sent here to live. To be honest, I don't have the first idea how it goes about building a monster enclosure. Would it be too much to hope that we might find the plans for one lying around somewhere? That is how it works. I shall tell my assistant that you are to be admitted wherever you like to, so you can visit any monsters you've seen fit to send our way. Uh, my dream of spending a peaceful place, of building a peaceful place for monsters to make their new lives for themselves is becoming a reality. I can feel it. The creatures who come here will be free to live happily ever after. All I need is your assistance. Together we can make Monster Meadows a stunning success. I just know it. Be sure to send pl plenty of your former friends along the way now. Just check these. I don't think there's really much here to... Uh, Alright, yeah, oh, let me check these. I think I might have already checked these, but... Because you can access this from the town, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, right, um, let me get out of here. Uh, we have some tablets. Uh, right, let's see, let's go to... The likeness. There he is. Oh, I committed so many terrible crimes and I hurt so many innocent people. I cannot change the past, but what I can can do is travel the world and try to atone for my sins. 
Yeah, so I can offer some comfort and spiritual succor to the afflicted. It will go some way towards making amends for the crimes of my brethren. Now I have heard tale of a place where the inhabitants were once turned to stone. I dearly wish to travel there and try to make up for the crimes of my monstrous forebears. Pray tell, have you ever heard of such a place? Eh, tell them about it. I see, so such a place truly exists? I am grateful for you for confining, confirming the rumors. Uh, but I have yet to introduce myself. I am Mac. Now if you'll excuse me, I must journey there and pray for those inhabitants. Bop, 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 bop. Alright. Oh. Alright, you have to you have to leave the normal way. Probably gonna stop after this, but I'll just get these tablets. Alright, and then uh Oh, sorry about that. I think we gotta go to um Wetlock. There it is. So they what bench the prop said it bandit from all the old trade Oh, they want dinner with no or no feeling. Knew exactly what he was after and pinched it without no noticing, didn't he? You got to watch out for that old trades lot. So you're not the guy. Alright. It might be that other dude. Stop, stop, stop. Hands off, human. I'm sorry, I may be a mimic. But I don't actually like confrontation or shouting at people. But if there's one thing I hate, it's stupid humans getting the wrong end of the stick and trying to open me up to look for treasure. I wish I could just get away from them all. Yeah. Yeah. I can't quite believe my ears. A town full of nothing but former monsters, you say? That sounds like the perfect place to get away from all the foolish people trying to open me up. Oh, I'm Mick, by the way. We got Mick and Mac. I'm set... What? Uh, yeah. I'd be happy to see you again once I'm settled in my new home. Just keep your hands off my lid, okay? You hear that? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get myself over there before I end it. The Haven, here we go. Yeet. I'll just put myself in front of the tablet and we'll do that next time. Wait, I, I gotta get the tablets from them. Shit. Let's do that. Oh, uh, I don't know where, where they're gonna be, so we gotta look around. No, not in here. I should just check the tavern since that's the most likely place. For at least one of them to be, right? No, huh? Wow. Where's this go again? Oh, this just leads to... Yeah, okay. It's just another way of getting there. I guess I could check in the church. Oh, here's he. Good day to you, friends. Thank you for informing me of this place. As you can see, I've decided to make it my home. I now spend my days here in prayer and contemplation. I'm glad you've come here. In fact, I have a little something to give you by way of thanks. And we now have the Heights of Machismo tablet. I do not believe that my prayers will absolve my brethren and me of our crimes. But if I can bring any comfort to all the afflicted, then I shall continue to pray. No. Well, I checked that house, but... Let's check this one. Like, where's this damn mimic? Here he is. Hands off, human! Oh, it's you. Well, I've got to say I like this town. It's full of former monsters, so there ain't, aren't any stupid humans trying to open me up all the time. I suppose some humans are alright, though, and you're a case in point. 
Here, take this, will you? It's my way of saying thanks. So I'm going to have the Booby Trap Bluff tablet. All right, we'll be doing that, both those tablets next time. But I'm ready to stop for the day here, so... I can't believe it. I'm finally able to just sit around minding my own business, knowing I'll be left alone. I'll treasure this feeling forever. Speaking of treasure, I heard a rumor on the way about a little boy who really wants to become an adventurer. It seems he's dead set on seeing the world, and his first part acquires a famous breezy valley somewhere. All right. All right. So I'm going to stop right here, guys. I'll see you guys real soon with more uh, Dragon Quest Seven: Fragments of the Forgotten Past. I'm saving it right here. There we go. Wool.